Another common question I get, are drop-in pistons and rods the way to go? While they do work, the things I don't like about drop-in piston and rod setups is one, you know, you're basically assuming that the bore size is gonna be right. Now, generally, if the engine doesn't have a lot of wear, it can work out for you. But I like to look at the piston and wall clearance and make sure that's ideal. So, and when I build an engine, I generally will get the engine bored over five thousandths or ten thousandths. That way I can get a piston at five or ten thousandths over and set my piston wall exactly where I want it to be. That's reason number one. Reason number two is, yes, while it does come retain this, the factory balance, uh, I like to balance the blueprint every engine I do. If you're taking the time and money out to build your engine and you want to push this thing to the limits, why take any shortcuts? Now, some may say it's not a shortcut. Well, it depends on how you look at it. However, there's always the right way to do things. Balance, blueprint, uh, machine the block, make sure everything looks really good. Go through everything as well as you can. It's always the way to go, in my opinion.